And there's a clip that um, shows a video of this young kid who's talking at a um, um, he's talking at a school board meeting, and behind him, he's trying to convince the school board to institute a mask mandate. And behind him are some grown ass people, women, Karens, who mock a little boy who's let our doing, kids. Uh, you know what? Just watch, watch it. If I get COVID, I'm going to bring it to my family. And I talk to my grandparents a lot. They're higher risk than me, so I don't want to give them COVID. This time last year, my grandmother, who was a former teacher at the Rutherford County School System, died of COVID because someone wasn't wearing a mask. This is a very... This is a very... Oh my God! This is a. Hey guys, we're here to act professional. Hmm. Please, right, just, sir, go ahead. Thank you. That's a this child. is an avoidable issue, and by not wearing masks in schools, it's irresponsible. We're killing people. This is not something that we should be doing for the education of our students. Thank you. like that i don't like that i saw that a child was getting chastised by grown women mo mostly grown women um right. who are holding up signs that are supposed to be kind-hearted right let our kids smile even though we know that that's anti-mask um but you know if you want your kids to smile you know and show the purity of your kids you're literally bullying a child for mm. saying that he wants to make sure that his family is safe but wanting your child to be free and exposed to COVID 19. i don't understand how you guys could be wanting to, you know, have this freedom for your child, but won't even listen to the freedoms of this child. You guys are abusive. And it's always those people, like I was saying, it's always those people who are representation of something. But it's like, hey, um, you know, I want my child safe until I want my, you know, it's like until they try to take away my child's rights, you know, now, now it's like not all children deserve, but only my kid, but the kid that's over here fighting for the safety of everyone, we're going to chastise him. We're going to belittle him. We're going to make him feel small. And the way that my heart broke for him because of these little trash behind, look at the lady chewing, smacking her gum and the other one behind him with the glasses. It's just a, it's a, it's, it's unfortunate to see that women, Parents, parents are sitting here children. leading this charge. That and, is an embarrassment. And this goes to show you, okay, you see how he feels about this. How many of uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. how many of the other kids? Teens feel the same way that he does. See, these people are just going against what they believe. Ask your damn kids what they want to do. You're not even asking them. We're not even seeing any kids at these protests. You're seeing these dumbass parents that's just like, let our kids smile. Stupid ass, they can smile under the mask. I smile under my mask all the time. <laughs> Y'all just safety dumb, bro. Hey, ha have y'all picked up on social cues? You could tell who's smiling at you and who's not underneath that mask. Because hey, yeah. you smile with, you smile with your, you eyes. your eyes. And if you, have, if you have big cheeks like me, they pop right through the side of the mask. So mm. they know. Child, you can't smiling. see my eyes when I smile. So every time I smile, you see it. I look like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, <laughs> Um, the, 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 I feel bad for these, for their children. Yeah. Right. Pull, pull, pull those, those women back up on the screen. These mothers, I, I, I'm going to guess that they're mothers because they're saying, let our children smile. But the way this has been organized by Steve Bannon, who was an operative for Donald Trump, very clearly, he sent out very specific instructions to Republicans and conservatives all across the country of what to do when they attend these school board meetings. Now, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they probably got children in the school system. And to that end, I feel bad for their children. But there's still a possibility they might not even have children. They're literally there as operatives of the conservative movement in order to try to maximize the amount of people who are being killed by COVID-19. Uh, I mean, it could be both. It could be both. Um, but... I feel bad for the kids. I really feel bad for this young man who's fighting the fight by his little self with his oh. little cut on his hair. And, you know, he's just he's a child. Bang -yang. He little bang yeah, his right. little bang. Yeah, his little bang yang. Because I don't like the Karen's baying in the back. She's pissing me off. And mm -hmm. for her to just and, and the fact the that the smacking um, of the gum is killing me. Too. He's the he's the mm -hmm. most adult person in the room. 
He's the most adult person in the room. The That's adults right. had to be told, hey, let's be mature. Like, and they, they, they just, had to be told that. And they're just so uninterested in what he's saying. Just like the look on their faces is like just utter dis- disgust. Like, this is a child, man. If they had stones in their hands, this baby would have been stoned. Would have been stoned. Just yep. like, mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. 